Hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again with another map video for you guys. So, as you guys know, that we have the Thanksgiving promo out, right? So, join the road trip. It's a lot to go over. We're not going to try to make this video too extended, all right? So, we're just going to kind of get through things and just talk about the promo a little bit. But, um, I looked at the Madden twitch stream that they always do they talked about it a little bit some of the players i like some of them i don't kind of wish they incorporated more i guess a variety of players like at least players that play for other teams something like that but you know it is what it is regardless it's a good promo like to an extent but we're going to go ahead and get it right into it so there's a few things that i already did when i signed in um we got our gridiron pack uh, there's a few other things also that we did and there's a few other things that we can go ahead and talk about too while we're here so as you guys know we have a lot of 88s a lot of 89s to go over we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off by just popping this open real quick and see what we get out of it because to be honest with you I'm not really quite sure for 82 Anthony Hutchins really so out of an 82 to 89 overall I get the lowest uh, whatever anyways so that's what I got out of that not very impressed by that wish it was a uh, 89 but I guess it just is what it is we have we're just gonna go ahead and hop into the sets first and then we're gonna work our way backwards so for the sets we have the um, the star players right so Dak Michael Hyde Calvin Ridley TJ Hawkinson Roquan Smith and Marshawn Lattimore out of these players, right, I can tell you right now, I don't know if Dak can get escape artists, but he doesn't have a power up. So until he gets one, personally, I feel like there's better quarterbacks than Dak in this game. Between Vic, between Lamar Miller, which everybody uses, Steve Young, Andrew Luck, in my personal opinion, there's better quarterbacks than Dak. Now... If you're on a Cowboys theme team, Dak will probably fit well. Not fit well. He he will probably do exceptionally well for your team. Because as much as you guys know, I use Derek Carr. Even though he can't get escape artists, he's still a beast. He still has crazy throwing stats. Mainly because he's on a theme team. So with that in mind, I'm sure Dak will be a beast on a the theme team. By himself, I would say it's a no-go. Michael Hyde, bust. You're free Satan, I'm just going to go out and say he's a bust. Calvin Ridley, I'm sure he's fast and everything like that, but there's a lot of fast receivers in this game that are a lot taller that can probably give you the same animation. To me, this is a bust. And be honest with you, I don't even think he'll even get... He needs 40 receiving yards and 100 plus receiving yards. Honestly, the way the Falcons have been playing, I really don't think he's going to even get that. So, TJ Hawkinson, I haven't really watched the Lions like that, but... In this meta nowadays, it's better to have a good run blocking tight ends. Which I from the stream that I saw, I don't think he has good run blocking. So I don't know. I don't think TJ Hawkinson's a good pickup. Rokon Smith. This is interesting because Rokon was actually a beast last year. But the way it is now with there's good linebackers in the game right now, right? There's good middle linebackers, in my opinion, between what you got, Ray Lewis, the how the theme teams are for the Ravens, like Ray Lewis, CJ Mosley, if CJ, if you're running a theme team. Um, those are really good linebackers for a Ravens theme team. But I guess standalone linebackers, Brian Urlacher, he's not bad. He's still a good linebacker. Um, Ray Lewis, obviously, he's still a good linebacker in himself. And, of course, you still have Ryan Cezier. If you have your team captain token on him, you still have Ryan Cezier. So, I don't know. Roquan, I, I don't think he's the best pickup for this. At least for me, he's not. Um, for my team, he's not. I, 
I know a lot of people that use middle linebackers as outside linebackers, and I guess that works for a lot of people, but I got outside linebackers. I got a 92 Telvin, and I got a 91 um, Anthony Barr. And honestly, they get the job done just fine for my team, so... Um, I don't, I don't really don't think Roquan's worth that pickup. Marshawn Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore, in my honest opinion, Marshawn might be the best pickup out of all of them. I wouldn't really go for him. This this really this doesn't really affect me at all. This whole set doesn't really affect me at all because I have corners already. Pretty good corners at at that too. Now. He does get powered up. He does have a power up. So he might be worth something on my team. So if I had to do any of these, it's definitely going to be him. So if I had to say in order, I will probably go Marshawn, Roquan, probably, probably Calvin Ridley. Dak, TJ Hawkinson, and then Michael Hyde. I really don't think that Michael Hyde is that great. So that that's what I would say if I had to pick an order. So as you guys know, we have the Harvest uh, Masters, Michael Irving and Night Train Lane. If I had a choice to get one of these done first, which I probably will get, try to get both of them done. But if I had a choice to get one of them done first, it would have to be Night Train. I saw what his hit power was. It's 91, so he can get Enforcer. Enforcer on a corner is going to be absolutely disgusting in this game. So, he'll definitely be on my squad. He'll definitely have an Enforcer. Who would he replace? Probably, for me, he'll probably replace Ray Lewis Enforcer only because I use a Ray Lewis. So, even though I'm not great at lining up hit sticks, Ray Lewis still has that hit power. So, I think... I have good. I can cover very well with him. Um, outside of that, he's still he's still good. He has great stats. Not the best zone, which is why I use him. Pat Timmy will have to keep his. I'll keep it on Jamal Adams, and I'll have it on Night Train. To me, that's the best ideal way to use the enforcers on my team. At least, there's no point for me to have it on my user. It, I guess, it benefits. But if I already have a corner like Night Train that can get Enforcer, I'd much rather him have it than myself. I'll just have to get better with hit sticking if that's the case. But if I had to do that in order, I'll probably do Night Train first and then Michael Irving. But I do like both of their stats. So if you can get both done, you should do it. 100%. Um, I did the turkey stuff, the turkey stuff already with the collectible and stuff. By the way, if you have, once you log into the game, do not quick sell the collectible. Make sure you put it into this set, okay? And, um, yeah, man, we did a few of the, not a few, but we did a little bit of this of the sets already. Um, so, looking at this, th this promo is going to be really interesting, especially to, like, manage the food and stuff. Get a random 77 to 79 overall. What is this one? 82 to 89. You'll need. Yeesh. That's. Eh. That's not that bad, but. That's a risk. That, that's really risky to go for that. But I mean, if you can get an 89 out of that, that, that would be pretty dope. Especially for promo wise, that would be pretty nice. Uh, main course. You'll need uh, Harvest Players. What do you get? Exchange. 382 82 to 85 overall elite harvest players and six 77 to 79 gold harvest elite players to earn a main course collectible okay main course are used to upgrade turkey stuffers from 80 okay so 84 to 80 or 84 to 92 okay so how all this works right so from the the side dishes right all the way to the, um, you got the side dish collectibles and you have the main dish collectibles, right? All of these go into the players that you can use for the um, for the players that you put into these sets. So the 92, okay, so how Tom Brady, Odell, Zach Ertz, Quentin Nelson, they're all 92, right? 
And same thing goes for Joey Bosa, Ryan Kerrigan, AJ Bouye, and Adrian Amos. All of them have to be at 92 in order for you to do their sets, obviously. Now, you have all these players once you do the first set. And I'm going to show you guys right now. So if I go to my item binder, they should be in my most recent. That if you do the, um, the collectible set, you will get these players. So you already have all of them. It just depends on which one you want to do first, right? So all of these guys can be upgraded, all right? So you'll have, um, depending on which way you want to go with this, if you want to go towards Night Train, you'll do some of the defensive players first. If you want to do wh whoever you want to do, you'll do their, like whichever master you want to do, you'll do those players first, right? So for me, I'm going to obviously do Amos, Kerrigan, um, Bouye, and, and Bosa, right? So, if I if I, if I was you guys, I would say, obviously, do a player that you would consider using at some point in time. Because if you're like me, it's gonna take you a minute to get a lot of these things done, especially if you're not ripping packs. I don't plan on outside of that first pack that I ripped. I'm, I don't rip packs. As you guys should know on the channel, I don't do it. I, I just don't feel a need to give EA more of my money. Especially to a game that is only going to last one year. And then once that year is done, that's it. You, you don't get that money back. You don't get those cards back. You don't get anything back from that. All right? You just put $60 to another game next year and you do the same thing all over again. It's a bad investment. It's not worth it. So keep that in mind, guys. If you guys want to rip packs, you know, that's cool. Kudos to you guys, but I, I personally don't do it. Not that I can't. I just won't. I can find other things to spend my money on besides packs. But that aside, it's going to take you guys a minute to get a lot of these things done, right? So if I was you guys, it's best to do a player that you might consider using. So personally, I might want to give this Amos a try. Or either Bouye a try only because Bouye already have like ten Jacksonville theme like um ten Jacksonville players on my team already, so he's gonna get a little bit of a boost. So I might consider using one of those, especially because I already have Amos's power up anyways. So there's that. So keep that in mind for all the food stuff that you have to do, all of that main dishes everything they're all going to go into these players and then once you get these players in 92 you can put those players into the master set that's how it works just to keep everything cut dry plain and to the point with that now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the solos right so some of the solos are interesting especially now because we're getting a team captain and one of them the turkey bowl so Turkey Bowl gives you the Mutt Harvest uniforms and it gives you the team captain token. Um, not very not very bad. You get the at 25 you get the away jerseys and at 129 stars you get an 82 to 85 Harvest Elite player. So you know, it's it's interesting. Um and then you also get, as you guys can see at the bottom right, you get a plus 92 overall in that Harvest player, all right, at the end of it, which, you know, it, it's good. Helps you guys finish the set a lot quicker for some of the, the Mutt Heroes, I mean, not Mutt Heroes, but the, um, the Harvest Masters. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next one, which is they have the Kid versus Dad, as you guys know from last year, or the, um, yeah, last year they had it, it's just... The one team, the dads are bigger and the kids are like four foot tall. So that's what that is. So for first star, you get um, gold harvest players. 15, you get two gold harvest players. And at 30 stars, you get an 82 to 85 elite harvest player. All right. So pretty much these harvest players, the elite ones and all this stuff, they're pretty much just going to go right into the set. All right. You don't sell them. Don't do it. Just put them right into the sets. Try to get a master. That's the goal. As far as I can see, that's the goal to this, man. And that should be everybody's goal. Get to a master as soon as possible. 
And there's a few other ones. They got um, Back in My Daily. It's a 24-hour thing. Um, it was kind of interesting that I noticed this, that they have like a background, right, of um, Barry Sanders. So, you know, does that mean we're going to get Barry Sanders at some point? I don't know, man. Kind of hope so, man. Barry's by far one of my favorite running backs, man. Like, but his height and everything like that, he still didn't matter. He's top tier running back. So, I really do hope they bring him into the game. He's definitely going to be a automatic pickup for my team. A hundred percent. Especially how invasive and jukebox and all this other stuff works in this game. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Barry's coming to the squad, so... I really hope that that is a hint to that we're going to get a Barry Sanders. But, you know, if not, then it is what it is. But I really do hope we do get him at some point in this game. So, um, that's the promo in a nutshell, man. There's not really much to it. It's interesting. It's something new to keep us occupied for a short period of time. But it, it's good. I, I like it. It's just for me... I wish that it wasn't, I guess it wasn't so difficult to get to a, I, I get why it's difficult to get to a master, obviously. I just wish the process to it wasn't as strenuous. Like, having to get all the food collectibles and stuff like that to power up the players, it, it's going to get annoying. It's going to get very tedious. So, you know, I wish they would have it like, um. Um, kind of like if there's a way for you can put it like in game sort of thing. So like for seasons, if you complete a certain amount of games or whatever, you have a choice of getting like food collectibles or something else. Kind of like, kind of like that, like a fantasy pack where you can either get food collectibles, coins or training or just one of the two training or food collectibles or or my bad that training but coins or food collectibles you know what i'm saying because for me i'm going to go ahead and get the food collectibles anytime every time because i much rather have the master or like they can have it for like a super bowl reward so like if you win a super bowl you can get food collectible or a choice at least to get a food collectible but you know it, it is what it is it you know it's whatever but we're going to go ahead and jump into the training currency, which has changed. Now, 82 to 89 overall random player. 1.5k training, essentially. Not bad. It's a gamble. As you guys saw, I pulled the 82, so I really wouldn't bet on that too much. But anyways, um, you, have, you can get the choices of side dishes if you put 220 training down. 220 training down. You have a choice for the main course to put 2k well 222 2200 training down to get a main course or at least a choice of it which is good so you can pick and choose which one you want depending on whatever player you're upgrading needs so if your upgraded player needs um stuffing for the main course you can come in here you can put down your 2200 training get stuffing if he needs gravy same thing if he needs a side dish whatever side dish green beans rolls and come in here bam you can get it it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of training I, I can see that now but you know it's how it is now wishbone pack contains one random wishbone collectible quick selling for an amount between 100 and two two thousand five hundred trade this i don't like this personally i i don't think this is worth it if you got a lot of training to blow on something like this go for it but i mean and this is definitely not worth it because here's the thing i don't know how many quick cells are in between each one like is it five quick cells like if it's a hundred a two hundred a five hundred and then something else or like how how many quick cells are in between the 100 and 2,500. Depending on that, determines whether or not this is worth getting. Because if you're going, if there's like, 
let's say six or seven quick i i don't know why they would do this but let's say there's like six or seven quick sells right and at least out of those maybe only four of them are above the 500 training you're going to spend i mean that might be worth it maybe okay depending but let's say like out of all of those you have like a hundred a 200 a 300 and then a 500 well to me that's not worth it that's that's ridiculous because everybody knows like with your luck in this game more than likely you're not going to pull a 2500 training off rip so like that i don't like i don't like this one it, wishbone to me if, if you're if you're going if you're willing to spend 500 training you might as well go ahead and put it on the on the side dish in my honest opinion if you really think you're going to get lucky enough to spend 500 training and get something at least enough back to get either this or that you might as well just save up the 500 training and either get a side dish or save it up and get an 82 to 89 player using it on wishbone to me that that seems ridiculous so that's just my opinion on the training aspect of it at least but anyways we're gonna go ahead and jump into the limited times for today so limited time players um oj howard is one of them i believe um i'm gonna tell you right now i'm not really fond of that <laughs> but we're, we're gonna look at it anyways but oj howard to me he here's the thing oj howard to me he's like a red zone threat in a sense because people don't really use tight ends because they're not as glitchy anymore like they were last year like i remember that i mean not Dak, um gronkowski absolute beast in the red zone like it was like impossible to stop people had um what's his name people had the six foot seven tight end jimmy graham they they had him and they were just throwing lobs in the back of the end zone getting glitchy animations it was ridiculous but now this madden high point passing it, it ain't that worth it man so you know I'm, I'm glad that that's not a thing anymore but anyways willie jackson is another limited time player for today the they don't have any um they don't have any oj howards up so you know we're just gonna go over willie jackson for now so 93 overall can be powered up 92 speed 92 acceleration 87 agility 91 jump 91 play rec 92 man 88 zone 87 press now willie jackson is a good card powered up he gets plus one on all of his stats so he'll have 93 speed so his base speed will be the same his speed will be the same as dion's which is absurd to me. But anyways, he'll have the same acceleration. Obviously, he'll have lower agility, better jump, better play rec. Same man, less zone, more press. So, to me, this is like an obvious pickup. Like, this is the most... Like, here's the thing. I wouldn't spend one mil on this but as far as like a redux or if i pulled them out of packs i might have to keep them because this willie jackson's an absolute animal i will get rid of xavian um yeah xavian howard and i will get rid of um darius slay and a heartbeat for this willie jackson but he i i don't think he's worth 1.2 i don't honestly i don't think any limited time players worth this much coins unless you got a theme team and you got coins sitting around like that i don't think any of these players are worth their these asking prices so personally i would hold off on it if you pull them out of packs i would say willie jackson is probably one of the few players that's a must keep on your team like i don't think he's going to get any other upgrades to be honest with you but right now He's essentially the best corner in the game. If he's not not if he's not the best, he's one of the best. Because here's the thing, he has the same like speed stats as Dion. 
but he has better press, better jump, and better play rec. He'll have the same man, the same speed, the same acceleration. He'll have everything better than Dion outside agility and zone. That's it. Like, this Willie Jackson is crazy. Like, that, to me, that's absolutely ridiculous. So, like, this this is, like, a must-keep at this point. So, if you pull him, like, you, you, like it's you got to keep him. 58 strength. He has more strength. Like, awareness is more. Uh, catching, it's roughly, it's roughly going to be the same. He'll have 78 versus 79. Like, tackling is better. It, this Willie Jackson is crazy. This is ridiculous. But yeah, man, I, I would say that's a must keep on your team, 100%. If you ever pull that Willie Jackson, I would say keep him. He's way more beneficial on your team than than if you don't have him. If you, Especially if you don't have someone like Dion or something like that, you got it. You have to pick that Willie Jackson up. Not pick him up, but like at least pull him. I don't think he's worth, like I said, I don't think he's worth one point whatever mil he is. I to be honest with you, I don't think any of those limited time players are worth that much. Their redux, a hundred percent. That I for some of those players, I'll definitely get their redux. But I'm not spending one point something mil on one player. I don't care how good they are. Sorry, especially when you have the same stats as Dion. Essentially, no. Nah. But if I pull them out of packs, I would definitely keep them, especially because you can power them up. So that's good. OJ Howard, on the other hand. I looked at his stats online. He's a good route runner. Speed is fairly decent. Like, he comes in at, like, 86 or something like that. I think he has 86 speed. But his run blocking's trash. So, if you need a run blocking tight end, OJ Howard's not a good pickup. All right? If you're looking for more of a route runner, kind of good catching, good height tight end, go ahead and pick up OJ Howard. But for me, I use a lot of run blocking tight ends. So OJ Howard would never be on my team ever for any reason, but that Willie Jackson, oh yeah, we we got a spot for you, bro. We got a spot for you. But anyways, before we end the video, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick, real quick um, lineup update for you guys. So we picked up um, Delaney Walker. All right, we picked up his Mud Hero. He's powered up. He's at 93 overall. So now we have Mercedes Lewis also. So we have the last upgrade that I want to do for the Titans. Obviously, get Kittle's um, Mud Hero, and then that, after that, that's it. Like that will be will be set for Titans for quite some time. Um, we got really good run blocking Titans. The next obviously upgrade, we're gonna get the Mutt Captain and go ahead and power up um, Herman Moore or Mutt Captain, the um, Captain Token. I'm gonna get that power him up. Outside of that, that's it. We don't really have any other upgrades. No, we don't have any other upgrades. So, that's the plan. That's what we're going to do for this promo. The main objective right now, Night Train Lane. 100%. That is our main objective right now is to get Night Train Lane. Anything else other than that, we're not worried about. Night Train Lane is the main objective, and that's it. But, anyways, you guys let me know down below in the comment section. What are you guys leaning more towards? Night Train or Michael Irving, because I know for some people running that Cowboys team, that Michael Irving is going to be freaking disgusting. Like, it, he's going to be insane. So, you guys let me know which direction you guys going more towards Night Train, or if you're going more towards Michael Irving. Let me know also if you guys are, like this promo, if you like how everything's set up. Do you think they could have done better on certain things? Just let me know down below. Make sure you like. Subscribe to the channel. Support means a lot, guys. Till next one. Peace.